Measuring with the HoloLens, breaking reality. going to be testing some of the measurement capabilities of some of the apps in the app store. There's some apps in the app store that uh, you can put a dot there and put a dot there and measures the two distances between the two. We're actually going to be testing those against the actual distance. We're going to see how accurate it is. So let's get into it. All right. So we're going to be testing with two apps today. We're going to be testing with an app called Hollow Gauge and an app called Hollow Measure. I have them both open and ready. Um, they do a little bit different things. The reason we're testing with two is because they do two things better than each other. So we'll jump in. First, we're going to start off with Hollow Gauge. So we're going to open up the app. Uh, this one is a little buggy, so let's hope it works. All right. So we're going to turn off spatial. Okay. So this one does do spatial mapping, but it only does it through the left eye, which is quite bizarre. Um, and looks like it does both eyes for this. So we're going to start with just. Uh, it's pretty easy. You just put a dot. We're gonna probably start right here. Put a dot right here, and put a dot right here. That oh, looks like I actually did two on accident. So let's go ahead and we'll remove. Put a dot right here, a dot right here, and that's 166 centimeters. It's that easy. It's not that hard. So we're gonna go ahead and remove. We're gonna turn it on to inches, and we're gonna pull out the measuring tape. Um, we're probably going to do six feet right on the dot. I'm going to set this down on the ground. There you go, that's six feet perfectly on. We're going to put our first dot right over here at the end. Try to get it as accurate as possible. We're going to come over to our other one over here. Drop it right there. I missed a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit off. But it looks like that's 71 inches, which is very, which is actually right onto where I put it. So you can see. Right where I put B is right there, and it is perfectly 71 inches, 71.84. So it might be very roughly up. Oop, I dropped another one on accident, and I got that one at the other end. So I might be dropping it a little bit off, but you can see that's basically perfect. If we go ahead and we can change it to feet, and that's 5.984 feet. So I mean, that's so close to six, six foot. I mean, so close. I actually dropped another one right there. Ignore that. You can actually. Oh, well, I'm dropping them all over the place. Anyways. So what's cool about these apps is uh, it gives you the freedom to be able to measure anything. So if I was going to do a uh, measuring tape, I'd have to have someone hold the other end or do something else. What's cool is I can actually drop one way over here at the other end of this room. So A, and I can come all the way over here to this end of the room. Drop another one. Look at all this stuff that would be in the way of me if I was trying to measure that with a measuring tape. Just drop it right there. This is in feet. It's 28.6 feet. So we could probably roughly estimate it's about 29 or 30 feet, guessing where I put it. But no counting it out, no doing anything like that. Just easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now this this app is nice because this one you can measure in meters, centimeters, inches, feet. You know, you, so you can do whatever you need to. It automatically does the conversions for you. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump to the other app and test that one out. All right, so now we're going to get into hollow measure. All right, so we're in the app. It crashed a little bit, so we just restarted it. We're good to go. Uh, we're in the app. So right now we have distance. This one's cool because we can do distance, dimension, area, volume, and we can drop them. That's pretty cool. So we're just going to start off with distance and do the same test we did on the other one. So let's go over here. I like the. I think this one's a little bit more accurate, to be honest. Drop a little, nice little dot right there. And drop a nice little dot right there. That is 1.86 meters, which I'm going to assume is just a barely a bit over because I put it over there. Because six foot should be right below that, I think. I don't know the exact conversion off the top of my head, but it should be right below that. The only problem about this one is it is in meters. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm assuming it's a foreign developer, so uh, and I don't know the conversion right off the top of my head. But it, I mean, exactly on, very close, roughly. This one's cool too. You can. Do another measurement. This one doesn't chain them all together, but it does pretty good. So let's go ahead and remove those. Okay, so we cleaned those on. Now what's really cool about this one is we can do area. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna find the area of this block of carpet, probably. So put one right there, put one right there. Probably just over here. And put one more over here. 
chains them all together, and it looks like we've got 3.1287 meters squared. So, I mean, that's handy without having to do any... I mean, I would have to spend forever measuring each one of those things and then do the math in my head and everything like this. This just adds it right there. Super efficient, super cool. I think this is probably one of the coolest capabilities of the Hollands and one of the most applicable everyday uses that you're going to be seeing from it. Alright, so I guess I'm just going to play around with it a little bit, show you just a couple cool things that you can do. Uh, so, I mean, we could go floor to ceiling. Okay, we've got 2.39 meters from floor to ceiling. Pretty cool. Yet again, all the way over to there, all the way to over there, and we got a distance of, let me walk over there, 8.31 meters. So in conclusion, you guys could tell it was actually very accurate. Surprisingly so. I was not expecting it to be that accurate. Nowhere near that accurate, actually. I was expecting it to be close, but definitely not that close. Uh, I could totally see people using this every day or for work. I mean, could you imagine your construction, you just need to hurry and plot out some land, boom, 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 done, you're good to go. Or you need, you're an architect, you need some quick measurements, boom, boom. Or even if your house, you know, you're just hanging out and you want to see how far something is if you're planning some, to put a couch somewhere and you need to know if the couch will fit or something like that. I could see so many uses for this and I can see the apps need a little bit of work to blend the two together to make it a perfect app, but I mean, the, the possibilities are endless with this app, so, or these types of apps. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Also check our check us out at Twitter at the Hollow Herald. If you guys have any other cool ideas, this actually came from an idea for a number one Hololens fan. Thanks for that idea. If you guys have any other ideas for videos, uh, go ahead and shoot us it, and we'll go ahead and make it. Thanks for watching, guys.